everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Robin and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite herbs and that is lemon balm. So in this video, I'll show you how you can grow it, how you can propagate it and also the uses and benefits of lemon balm. So I like to grow lemon balm in a pot just because we're living in a rental property and we do move around quite a bit and keeping it in a pot ensures that I can actually take it with me rather than digging it up and taking it with me like that. In a subtropical climate, which is where we live around Southeast Queensland, it grows a little bit different to how it would in say some of the temperate areas. In this area, I find that it starts to die back when it gets really hot and then regenerates in the cooler season. So this time of year, winter, it is looking nice and lush and is growing back really fast. It's originally from the Mediterranean and dates back to around the 14th century when different groups of people used it for its health benefits. If you're living in a cooler or temperate climate, you're likely to see the flowers and it is a stunning be attractive plant when it does flower it gets a little bit too hot here in the subtropics for it to flower so we get to enjoy the greenness of it all year round particularly in winter I've personally never had mine flower but that's not to say that it can't in this climate um, it's probably just too hot specifically in my microclimate that I live in so growing lemon balm is pretty simple I planted a small little seedling that I had bought from a nursery for about three dollars or so and it is now bushed out really well over summer this plant completely died back and has now regenerated in winter it generally needs a rich well-draining soil so you can grow it in pots with a really good potting mix i like to give mine a fertilizer every month or so with some worm juice or a nitrogen based fertilizer. Lemon balm is a part of the mint family, but unlike a lot of mints, it doesn't kind of creep and crawl around. It tends to stay in a little bit more of a bushy form. So it's great to plant in food forests if you've got that sort of design where it can be planted under trees. It's got a really strong citronella lemony smell to it. So it can definitely ward off a lot of pests that you may have around your garden generally grows to about 30 to 90 centimeters tall so it's a great little compact plant to have in your food forest in terms of propagating this plant it is super simple you can either propagate it through cuttings or just plant some more seeds in terms of cuttings i like to take around like a five to eight centimeter cutting and on that cutting you'll be able to see different nodes on where new shoots come out from all you need to do is just snip off just below one of those nodes and then cut off any excess leaves that you may have around to ensure that the plant puts its energy back into the roots rather than the leaves. And the plant should root all along that stem where you've cut it below. And then I just plant that in some pots and let it grow and share it with friends. So in terms of the benefits of lemon balm, traditionally it's used as a digestive tonic to help your digestive tract or you can use it to calm your nerves for anxiety um, or if you're just having a really horrible day and you wanna to get to sleep. My favorite way to use lemon balm is by far using it in teas. I love to combine it with spearmint or peppermint and it's as simple as just picking off a few leaves and crushing them a little bit. This releases the oils and all of the benefits that's in those leaves popping it into some boiling water for around three to five minutes or so and then just drinking it from that. I had some of this tea last night and I pretty much went straight to bed. You can also use it as an addition to your bath. So you can just put some sprigs of it into your bath and let the essential oils um, soak into the water and that provides a really calming lemony scent. And also infusing it into oils and honey can be a really nice way to include a lemony scent while also giving those really great health benefits to any olive oils or honey that you may use as condiments. And lastly, you can consume lemon balm raw as well. So you can either add it into salads or pesto. I find that it has a really lemony sherbet scent. Um, so it's great for adding it to smoothies as well for that flavor. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you are thinking of planting some lemon balm, I would highly recommend it. It is one of my favorite herbs and has so many different health benefits that I think everyone should be growing in their garden. It's also really easy to propagate. So it's great to share with friends. So I'm going to go off and sip on my lemon balm tea and have a nice calming afternoon make sure to like this video and subscribe for more if you'd like to see this and until my next video happy gardening guys bye